Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm G&G and in today's episode of the University Challenge we will be taking on Celtic at home in the Champions League before we take on St Pat's in the FAI Cup semi-final and we are going into these games in a bit of a bad run of form to be honest. Uh, since the last episode we took on Watford in the league. Uh, we beat them 4-0 with a uh, double for Will Angshire, Pedro Paolo and Almeida with the other goals so a good 4-0 away win. Then we had an international break and we came back to take on Derry City and this ended in a 1-1 draw. A penalty from Barres was cancelled out by another penalty for Derry City. So that was two points dropped really so that closed the gap at the top. And then we suffered our third defeat of the season only a couple of days later when Sligo Rovers defeated us 1-0 in a game where we just didn't have any luck. We had two goals disallowed, one for a foul at a corner by Andy Appen and another for Will Langshire with a very close offside. So those uh, results mean that at the top of the table we are now only five points clear with a game in hand with four games remaining for us, three games remaining for St Pat's. So we still have the title in our hands. If we can win our game in hand and go uh, eight points clear we really would be very close to having it wrapped up. But the title race has gone on longer this season than in other seasons due to our up and down form in the league. It hasn't been easy with a lot of breaks with international football but hopefully we can get back up and running today. With a win over Celtic at home, it's going to be tough. Celtic managed by Scott Brown are going to be tough opposition for us. And this is the team we are going with. So it'll be Romeo in goals. A back four of Tmanian, Almeida, O'Connor and Andy Appen. Mendoza in the defensive midfield role because Barres is going to play at centre mid with Whitaker alongside him. Meaning Bushinov drops to the bench. Pedro Paolo and Wu Young on the wings. And Langshire up front. Going with our normal tactics at home as we try and create a shock here against Celtic. On the way here at the Aviva and we have a kick off highlight right away in this big match. Celtic coming to Dublin in the Champions League is a huge occasion even if the Aviva is still half empty for it. Uh, showing that our fans haven't grown yet. But here comes Celtic playing through it very easily early on and they're going to score right away. Oh great save from Romeo. Got a leg to it. And that is a big escape just 20 seconds into the game. It looked like Celtic were going to take the lead but thankfully Romeo's leg stopped that from going in. And we stay at nil nil here with just two minutes gone. Celtic coming on the attack again. They played through us here. Can we cut out across here? Force them back to the edge of the box. Plenty of men here to block shot. Oh, fired over. And it is a free kick actually on the edge of the box. Not sure what the referee was given there. But yeah, it's a free kick here for Celtic right on the edge of the box. This is a huge chance for them. Just eight minutes into this game. Oh, hits the post. And we get away with it again. Charlie Whitaker boots it clear out for a throw in. And we are holding on here early on. Thankfully though with 8 minutes gone it stays nil nil. Throw in here for Celtic and it's them coming on the attack again. But we get a foot in with Mendoza. He clears it Langshire now. Runs into a bit of space here Will Langshire on his own. But can he hold the ball up for support? Langshire takes on his man and loses it. But can we now get the ball back up high up the pitch? No Celtic will clear it. Mark Travers in goal for them. The Irish keeper who is in our Irish squad over on the international or the university challenge goes international I should say. If you want to check out that series. Here comes Celtic on the attack. And playing through us again. Over the top. Are they going to get a cross in? He has to cut back. Plenty of options for him. He's into the box. Takes the shot. Gets deflected into the hands of Romeo. And another lucky escape for us here. And with 14 minutes gone. It stays nil nil. Neil O'Connor on the ball here. 23 minutes gone. It's all been Celtic so far. Plenty of chances for them. We've just been lucky enough. As Lancashire get, makes a mistake. Uh, takes a mistake off the Celtic defender. And takes the shot. But fires it straight at Travers. I got so excited there I couldn't speak. Our first chance of the match falling to Langshire. But sadly he wastes it. And with 25 minutes gone it stays nil nil. Wu Young in possession here. Whitaker out to Andy Appen who has a bit of space here. Our captain can he get across into the box. He has a cut back. Goes to Mendoza on the edge of the box. Poor touch from Mendoza. And now Celtic will come on the counter. And a long ball played forward. And we are completely open here. Just Neil O'Connor in there. He chips the keeper. What a finish that is from the Celtic man there. And we go 1-0 down. What a counter-attack from Celtic. We were uh, attacking and probably had too many men forward really for uh, us. One long ball over the top here. And watch this finish. This is actually a brilliant finish, I have to say. Chips the keeper brilliantly. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> you just have to admire that goal, even though it's against us. And with 42 minutes gone here at the Aviva, we go 1-0 down. Half time here at the Aviva and it is that goal that separates the two teams. That goal coming at a time when we were starting to come back into the game. We had a bit more of the ball, a few more shots. And then Celtic hit us on the counter-attack. So that is 
probably the disappointing part of the half, but in truth, Celtic deserved their lead. Look at that X3 story. They've been completely on top for most of that half, and they deserved to go in 1-0 up. Back on the way here with the second half, 1-0 down, and trying to get back into a match which we haven't really been in. We had a little short spell just before the goal when we had more possession, but apart from that, it's been all Celtic, and we're going to get level. We're going to need to continue uh, getting at least even enough with possession, and hopefully we can create one big chance and take it. Could this be it, Andy Appen? Mendoza, Neil O'Connor passing around. Can we bring the ball up the pitch now? Mendoza, Whitaker. We should have enough passing in midfield with Barras moving in there alongside Whitaker, but Whitaker with a poor touch gives the ball away. And now Celtic will come on another counter attack. And could this be our undoing again? They get to the byline, across to a man in space. He shoots, he scores. And again, it's given the ball away and hit on the counter attack has undone us. And that is a problem we've had in the Champions League is we just don't have the quality to retain possession and then we are hit on counter attacks like this and again it's another brilliant finish i have to say just past romeo neil o'connor probably could have stuck his head out and blocked that instead of just standing there looking but sadly he did that and with 50 minutes gone we're two nil down free kick for celtic here comes into the box can we head it clear and we can't but it's straight at romeo and now we have a bit of possession here can we build an attack from the back 66 minutes gone two nil down we've made a couple of substitutions brought on Bushnov and here he is and Barres in possession out to Dennis Nolan who's another sub that's come on here he bring it in field goes back to Almeida back to Dennis Nolan can he get torn now and take on someone he can but he loses possession and Celtic have it back and will they come on another counter attack a bit slower this time but they still have possession can we get men back and win the ball back is the main thing and Celtic just passing around and we can see the quality in their passing and we just leaving too much space for them we're trying to press them but not able to do it ball over the top he's true oh hits the crossbar and celtic miss a big chance to go 3-0 up and somehow we're just about still alive in this game 68 minutes gone 2-0 to celtic free kick cross here neil o'connor takes it he's gone out to left back as andy appen picked up an injury bushing off through to dennis nolan can he finish dennis nolan yes he can we're back in it dennis nolan off the bench with a brilliant goal excellent finish from him and it was the two substitutes linking up in bushing off and nolan and uh, maybe disappointed not to start pushing off, but he's made an impact here off the bench. Neil O'Connor with the free kick into Barres, Mendoza. So the three midfielders linking up, pushing off, playing through Nolan, gets through, passes man, slots it past Travers in goal. And with 20 minutes to go, we're 2 1 in this game. Celtic with a free kick here, 10 minutes to go in this game. Can we hold on, not concede, and sneak an equaliser? No, not looking like it at the moment as in comes Celtic. Cross the goal. Oh, it hits the post. Oh, Celtic with an open goal, hitting the post there, and we're still in this game. 10 minutes to go, and it is 2-1. Celtic with another free kick here. As uh, Reese Evans, who's just come off the bench, taking his time getting back in position. And Celtic play it into midfield. And a bit short, can Reese Evans intercept? Can Reese Evans is true. 1-1, Evans. That's it. Oh, he puts it wide. Oh, huge chance, Reese Evans. Oh, what a miss. What a miss. 8 minutes to go, stays 2-1. Into injury time here and Celtic have a free kick. We have a minute off the four added on gone. And it looks like we're going to fall to a disappointing defeat. That re seventh chance was huge. Can we create another? Here we go. Neil O'Connor. Adaje. Bushinoff. Over the top towards Frizai. Can he get on it? He can. Justin Frizai. On. Off the bench. Plays it into Barres. Into Bushinoff. Is he going to take a shot? Bushinoff. Bushinoff. Oh, straight at the keeper. Oh, another huge chance wasted. Oh, we really should be drawing this game. Oh, that's huge. What a miss. We, we could have won this game if Evans and Bushnov had taken their chances. Oh, that's huge. And at the last few seconds of this game, tick down. Oh, it's going to be such a nightmare defeat when we've had those chances. Celtic by far the better team, but those two chances really wasted. And there is the full-time whistle. So it is a 2-1 defeat. And can't hide the disappointment because we should have levelled it in that game at the end. Looking at the group, we'll see we have now fallen down to 27 position on three points. Only one point off Cadiz, who are in 24th. But we really should have another point on that board. So that is the Champions League action on all done and dusted. Let's get to the cup semi-final against Sympaths. So here we are with the team for this cup semi-final. And we've had to make plenty of changes due to fitness issues. Only a couple of days, three days after actually the Celtic game. So we haven't had much of a break in the last couple of weeks. And it's really starting to tell. So the team in full will be Romeo in goals, Foy at right back, Almeida with Adaje beside him, Will Blackmore in at left back, 
Mendoza continues as the defensive midfielder with Glenn Kamara and Bushinov as the midfield too. Dennis Nolan on the right, Wu Young on the left and Langshire up front. So one step away from making it back to the FAI Cup, FAI Cup final against our title rivals, St. Pat's, can we get a real mental advantage over them with a win? On the way here at the UCD Bowl in this Cup semi-final, trying to end a run of bad form. Two defeats in a row in the league in Europe and a draw. So we haven't won in three games. Can we get back on up and running with a win here today as we pass the ball around here early? Mendoza, Bushnov plays it towards Dennis Nolan but it's cut out and St. Pats will come on the attack. And can they hit us on the counter like Celtic were doing? No, not as at um, first go anyway as they go back all the way to their keeper and try and pass it around, retain possession. Here they come and they find a bit of space here as they take on our defence. We have plenty of men back here so we should be able to hold on. They go long over the top and Will Blackmore will cut that out and he plays it to Almeida and now we can come on the attack inside the first minute here. B uh, Bushinov gets turned, gets a bit of space. Can he now ki play a killer ball? He can't. Dennis Nolan's true. Cross it. Langshire finishes. Is he onside? He is. And we take the lead after a minute here in this cup semi-final and that is a huge relief. And again, Dennis Nolan making an impact. He may start to come into consideration for starting ahead of Pedro Paolo, whose form has been patchy lately, but Nolan, goal against Celtic, and now an assist here early on in this cup semi-final. Langshire finishing it brilliantly past the Pats keeper, and with just uh, a minute gone here, we're 1-0 up. Free kick here, Bushin off to take it. Goes for goal, hits the crossbar as it goes over. Good attempt from Bushin off there, trying to get that second goal, but sadly, hits the crossbar, goes over. 26 minutes gone, 1-0. Half time here and that early goal separating the two teams, we have dominated since then, we've been in control, just haven't got that second goal so hopefully that doesn't come back to bite us, but so far so good and it looks like we're on our way to another cup final. Back on the way here for the second half, let's hope we can control the, it like the first half and get that second goal, we need uh, just to kill off this game, you know, St. Pat's have a habit of scoring late against us, so hopefully we can just end the game long before that can happen. Coming up now to 48 minutes gone, it stays 1-0. Corner kick with St. Pat's comes into the near post, it's headed clear initially, but it falls to Vaughan for them, he takes the shot, it's blocked again, St. Pat's will still have it, another shot just goes wide, and we get away with uh, Pat's putting us under a bit of pressure there, and with 55 minutes gone, it stays 1-0. Another corner here for St. Pat's, it comes in towards the centre of the box again, headed clear by Foy, St. Pat's get it back to the uh, corner taker, Foy gets a tackle in, in the box, and thankfully doesn't give away a penalty. But here comes St. Pat's, lots of space for the cross. Oh, Romeo pulling off a brilliant save there. Really reflex save there because the shot was point blank at him. And just coming up to the hour mark, we stay 1-0 up. Corner kick for us here, Barres to take it in towards Neil O'Connor. Heads it towards goal, hits the crossbar and falls to Adagie. And he is offside though. Yeah, unlucky there. <laughs> uh, initial header hit the, cor hit the crossbar but he was offside. And with 15 minutes to go, it stays 1-0. Throw in here for Charlie Whitaker, down to Bushinoff. And he tries to take a cross in towards Adagie, he gets up but he heads it away from goal, strangely enough, here's Blackmore into Barres, he goes to O'Connor and he plays it into Barres again, back to O'Connor, to Foy, into Bushinov, can we create something, back to O'Connor, he goes to Adagie, Barres, Kamara, back to Adagie, over to Blackmore, passing around, two minutes remaining of this game, here's Whittaker. He has a bit of space. Is he going to lose possession? He isn't. He is. <laughs> Thought he had retained it, but he gave it away. And now St. Pat's coming on the counter-attack. Neil O'Connor cuts it out to Glenn Kamara. Now, can he create something? What a pass to Dennis Nolan. Here's Nolan. Can he finish? Yes. Dennis Nolan kills this game off. What a ball from Glenn Kamara showing his experience and skill there. And Dennis Nolan again showing why maybe he should be starting. O'Connor here intercepted it. Lovely. Kamara took it down. Plays a lovely ball over the top. Nolan races onto it and never in doubt that he's going to finish it into the side of the net. A minute remains and we are 2 0 up. St. Pat's here in possession. Is this just uh, a last hurrah from them? Ball played over the top, headed down to nobody in particular. O'Connor picks it up, goes long towards Lancashire. He can't win it in the air. St. Pat's still have it as we try and put them under a bit of pressure, but can't win it back. Pushing off in with a tackle, but Pat's still have it. And we are into injury time now. Four minutes added on. Here comes St. Pat's. Are they going to get a late goal to make this a grandstand finish? They are indeed. Oh, tap in. Oh, St. Pat's do have a real habit of scoring late against us. And they've done it again. And we were really cut open here by this ball. And O'Connor was half asleep there. And then it was just a matter of tapping in for Smith. And as we are now in 
a minute of injury time gone we are two and up and we're going to turn time wasting all the way up and try and hold on in this game to make it through to the cup final and just uh, 30 seconds remaining 10 seconds is it going to go to the final whistle we're waiting for it and the referee hasn't blown it yet we are well over the time now and there it is yes final whistle goes and we get a win here and we through to the cup final knocking St. Pat's out we will take on Sligo Rovers in that cup final and a chance to do the double again here in Ireland so there we have it through to the FAA, FAI Cup Final with that 2-1 win over St. Pat's and we will take on Sligo Rovers in that Cup Final later on in the season. But in the next episode we will be taking on St. Pat's again which could be a game if uh, we beat Cork City in the, in the midweek game. That game against St. Pat's would be the game where we could win the title against them. They are the team in second. A win against them would seal the title as long as we manage to beat Cork City in the game before that which is our game in hand. So yeah, the next episode we'll take on St. Pat's again and we'll also take on Man United at home in the Champions League. So two huge games in our season, one where we could seal the title and one where we could pull off one of the biggest shocks in the club's history and probably in the Champions League history to be honest with the standing we have. If you did enjoy today's episode, please drop a like, always good to see more likes and that people are enjoying them. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any videos. Videos are posted Monday to Friday at 6pm Irish time and subscribing is the best way to get the notification when the video goes up. And there are playlists on the channel if you want to catch up on anything we've done so far. So until the next episode when we take on Pats and Man United, please take it easy.